What's up, guys? So, we are taking a break from the Mind Flayer series, um, our artwork. That's been kind of successful lately, so we're going to be taking a break from that, and we're going to do some online fishing shopping at Tackle Warehouse. Hey, guys, definitely not sponsored by it. Don't demonetize us! Yeah, we are not being sponsored by this, so this was my idea, and... I will show you a couple things that I will be getting from this place. So the first thing you want to do is you want to know what you're going to be ordering. I'm going to be ordering some... I'm going to start with uh, Zoom. Because for me, Zoom has been one of my very successful baits in the past. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Superflux. I'm gonna start with yeah, getting... yeah, Zoom has a lot of good baits. I I fished with those before. Yeah, you caught a good bass on one, right? Didn't you? Yes. Uh, Zoom flukes. Four inches. Wait, where's super flukes? Here we go, salty super flukes. Here we go. Uh, for me, I always pick out a super fluke one uh, fin. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, so I, yeah, um, I always pick like one or two out packs of albino super flukes. Um, you gotta go with the classic baby bass deck because that can really mimic any style of bait fish. Uh, bait fish is good. I don't. I'm not a fan of it. I know my friends are, but like, yeah. Um, Chartreuse pearl is pretty good. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with that for now. And if you look, if you look over here, I have a cart. I have the albino. I have a Rapala jerk bait. I'm uh, so sorry. Yellow parch. I'm so sorry to interrupt. But just in case you hear background noise, it's just our cousin. Hey, Roger, could you turn that down? Yeah, well, my brother's watching a movie right now, so yeah, if you hear anything, just ignore that. Uh, okay, so I always put like, uh, I'm not, we'll get into this stuff later, but um, I'm ordering a uh, new Rapala jerk because mine actually cracked open and was getting water was leaking into it so it would just go straight down um yeah i would i typically get a pack of yum green sankos like this let me show you i hope this stuff comes in the mail tomorrow uh so yeah the yum dinger classic you got your 47 colors Uh, let's see. I typically, I go with a, um, always go with the classic, like, green pumpkin style worms. Uh, you can do, like, a chartreuse melon pie is good for bass. Um, yeah. I usually order, like, two or three packs of those. Uh, the drop shot. Yet the um kill shot worms are good. Those are very effective. Um, let's see. Now there's this brand called Gary Yamamoto. They have very effective beads. They are very good, but they are extremely expensive. Like you can see over here, a ten pack of three inch Senkos are like almost seven dollars. They're very effective. They are durable. They have good scent. Uh, they're yeah. Uh, they have they come in quantity, and I highly recommend recommend their uh, five inch thin senko or their just normal Yamamoto senko. Their Yama senko is also good. Um, for jig trailers, I usually go to Ned Bates. Where is it? Ned Bates. Actually, I'm looking at spinner baits. I typically get all my spinner baits from War Eagle. 
I feel like War War Eagle is like very effective. Like these, this size, they're good for big pike and musky. Um, and finally, I will get the swim baits. I go to Kai Tech. Um, I typically get like a shiner and an impact swim bait. Uh, and their worms are good too. Uh, their jigs are okay. I've never been a fan, but yeah, their jig heads are very effective. Um, yeah. So I'll be showing you guys uh, more about what I like to use fit to fish for.